Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Altendorf. Today I give you a short video on our Magis visualization software. Here we have the Magis icon, which I will click here now. And the very first thing that you see for me here is now a message that on my trial version of Magis I have 26 days left. The actual trial version is 30 days, so for me it means after 26 days I have to purchase the full license that I can continue working with Marcus and reap the whole benefits of the system. So now you see here on the right hand side we have a column with a number of various icons. On the top we have the document icon which tells us where we can choose the path where our uh, cutting plan or cutting list is, is parked. We have a cube icon where I can switch between a two-dimensional view and a three-dimensional view. We have the play button that allows us to continue step by step through our cutting plan. We have a printer icon that allows me to print for each finished part a label to be able to further identify that finished part in the further downstream processing. We have a rewind button one step and a fast rewind button for several steps and we have the settings icon. We go on the document icon to choose our cutting plan and for the purpose of the video I'm choosing this one. I'm opening it and I see a somewhat let's say easy one with a few strips that need to be cut on a panel that is 2790 millimeters by 2030 millimeters. If I go now three-dimensional by clicking the cube I see the basic schematics of our Altendorf saw without any panel on it. Now I press the play button and the panel appears in the size that I need. Also you see two big numbers. One is in red, which is the important one. That is the number of the size that we are actually ripping with our ripping fence here. And a blue number that tells the operator put that very first slip flip stop away more than 1529.3 in order that I can work with the entire panels and continue. In the center of the screen you also see a blue arrow that tells the operator well if that part which appears in yellow is cut and finished you have to turn it 90 degree a indicator for the operator in the outfit this I have to turn and later give it back to my colleague in the infeed area. So I press the play button and continue. We are moving forward. We are cutting our strips. You see how the numbers are changing. And now all of a sudden you see that we are cutting a very small part here in yellow. And you see a visualization for the operator, a safety warning actually. A red pushing stick telling him, be careful what you are cutting right now is smaller. Then 120 millimeters, be careful with your fingers, you better use that pushing stick which comes with every sliding table saw from Altendorf in order to save your fingers here. We continue and as a part becomes finished, has received all the rips and cuts in the center of the screen, a checkmark box appeared with a green checkmark telling you that part is now finished. We continue, we are moving forward, we are cutting from the left hand side. The part becomes finished, the green checkbox appears, we continue and now we see a new indicator for the operator that he needs to turn the part not only 90 degree but also 180 degree and that has to go back to the operator at the infeed. Some point in time your cutting list has been accomplished, the job is well done, you have finished what you had to do. And uh, you can choose now here the next cutting plan and continue with the next job that needs to be done. Altendorf says thank you for the purchase of Marcus. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact your agent, your regional sales manager or our headquarter in Germany. Thank you very much.